Took a World, a Love Story, Episode 7. Oh, that burrito did not sit well in my stomach. Harmonica. Jared, hurry up. The game is gonna start. Sorry about that. I had an accident in the bathroom. An accident? No, not that kind of accident. I mean, you know, stomach problems. Again? Yeah, I love burritos, but burritos don't love me. Come on, let's play. Get this controller. To, 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 oh, hope I kill you this time. Good luck. So what's going on with you and Jamie? Well, I haven't even seen her or talked to her all week. She's always busy with a boy. You know, Christopher? Yeah, that boy. I don't even say his name. Uh, stop being jealous. He's just a friend, I'm sure. Does he look like he wants to be friends with her? I don't think so. Well, have you tried to call her? Yeah, but every time I do, it's like Christopher has some sixth sense or something, and he calls right away. I we got interrupted, and he has a question about the script. That is so weird. Well, I'll just hope that I see her tomorrow. We can talk at lunch or something. Who, Rose? That's my Rose. Can I go with Gemma? Oh, you're so cheap. Thanks. Oh, Harmonica, I'm hungry. All right, let me get you some food. Jared, hold on. Let's go to the kitchen. All right, Jamie, should we do that line again? Okay, let's start over. I'm going to stand right here, and I'm going to walk towards you and see the lines. Great. It's really lonely in this town. I don't have a lot of friends. Hey, you got me. <laughs> Thanks for being there for me, Michelle. You're the only friend I had in this town. If you ever need someone to talk to, you know my number. All I wanted was a friend. And now I've got a beautiful friend. I never thought that you would be... Oh, I missed my key. It's okay, I can start over. No, I think it was your position. Maybe maybe you were in the light and I couldn't see clearly where I was supposed to go. Oh, sorry about that. Let me just step back. All right, let me start over with my song. All I wanted was a good friend. Oh, let me start over. My accent is getting in the way. All I wanted was a good friend. And now I've got a friend in you. A beautiful girl with a kind heart. Someone who's gonna be true. I never knew that someone from the farm could be a friend. I'm a city girl, a city girl and know nothing about the farm. But here I am, falling for someone who's been milking cows all his life. Great, great. That's a good start. But maybe you can walk a little bit more in your voice. It's a bit um, off-key at times. Oh, really? Yes, but I'm just saying that to help you. You know that, right? Of course. Well, you know what? Um, we've been rehearsing so much, and I think it's time we get some kind of break. What do you mean? Why don't I take you out for a date on Saturday? <gasps> this Saturday? Yes, a dinner date. Would you like that? Oh, okay. <gasps> that would be nice. Sorry. Right, I'll pick you up at, say, 7 o'clock. I'll make the reservations. All right, see you then. You know my number. Of course I do. Sup, dude? Oh, hey. I thought you were going to give that to Jamie. Yeah, well, a recess or lunch or something. So excited. Oh, yeah. My cousin Bianca, she's coming for a week. I'm so excited. Bianca and I are super close. Maybe I'll take her around town or something. Oh, Bianca, the pretty one. Yeah, that one. Okay. I'll just get to class. But I forgot something in my locker. Y'all see there. Cassandra, you'll never guess what happened. What? Aliens? Tell me it's not aliens. Uh, no. Christopher asked me on a date. Which Christopher? The tall, blonde, handsome British guy? That Christopher. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. Did you say yes? So, so you said yes. Of course I did. I'm just worried about Jared. Um, I don't want him to feel bad. Why? He's not your boyfriend or anything. I know, but still... We've been talking and... What? Wait. 
Jamie is going on a date with Christopher, that doofus, the annoying jerk who's so arrogant. I can't believe she said yes. Oh, this is bad news, bad news. Oh my gosh, is that Jared? Oh. Do you think he heard? Jared? Excuse me, uh, I'm not Jared, I'm a principal, Robert. I'm sorry, sorry. That totally looks like Jared, let's go. Oh, it's the real Jared. Jared, hey, I'm looking for you. I'm gonna go ahead. Jared, I just wanted you to know oh. that Christopher asked me on a date. I hope that's okay with you. Of course, well, wouldn't it be okay? We're just friends, so you can go out with anyone you want to go out with. Oh, okay. Well, thanks, I guess. Well, let's go to class. Okay, I'm just going to get something for my logger. Right, and that is the difference between your without the apostrophe and Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. Please, please remember that. There's a difference? I don't get it. Of course you don't. Oh, anyway, time for lunch. See you after lunch for math class. See you, Angelo. Be your brilliant self yet again. Of course. Wait, Mom, oh my gosh, Jamie, look at that. What? Look at the, the, the whiteboard. What about it? The letters J. J. Heart J. Oh my gosh. Who could have written that? I don't know, but it's so obvious. Obvious how? John and Jillian from the other class? They must like each other. Oh, probably. Let's go to lunch. Jared, why the long face? Well, I'm sure you've already heard. Christopher and Jamie are going on a date. Yeah, it must be tough for you. Totally. What are you going to do about it? Well, I think I'm going to give up. What? After weeks and weeks of pining for that girl, you're just going to give up? Well, you know, she likes someone else. I don't see the point. I'm just going to get rid of this rose. Thanks. Oh, I mean, okay, you can have that, I guess. Oh, Jared, I'm really sorry that this happened. Anyway, I'm just going to be her friend or something. And I'm just going to probably eat my sorrows away. Oh my gosh, you're going to get fat. Who cares? I don't even care about the way I look. Here, have my burrito. Thanks. Anyway, lunch is over. And the only thing that's making me happy, sort of, is that my cousin Bianca is coming over. She didn't stay for a week. Yeah, I'd love to meet her again. Yeah, see you in class. Let me just walk slowly and sadly. Oh, I love him, but he's so weird. It's really great of your mom to let you stay here while you're on break from school. Yeah, I told her that I really want to stay with my best friend, best cousin, Jared. Thanks, Bianca. I really need a pick me up bar. Today was such a sad day. Oh, does your mom know what happened? Yep, he filled me in. He's in love with their neighbor, and their neighbor is going on a date with someone else. That sucks. You know what? We should just hang out or something. Take your mind off things. Yeah, we totally should. But I'm broke. Uh, Jared, I'll give you some money. Why don't you guys go to the arcade? Thanks. See you later, Auntie. Let's go. See you later, Bob. Yeah, totally. Anyway, I can't wait. Show me around, okay? Totally. Let's just wait for the elevator. Oh, oh. Um, hey, Jared. Hey, Jamie. Uh, hi. Hi. Oh, I'm gonna go in. See you at school. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, that's Jamie. She's very pretty. I know, but we're gonna be friends now. Oh, my God. down. It's so mean, Bianca. Huh? I wonder who that girl was with Jared. She's very pretty. Um, no wonder he said it's okay for me to go out with Christopher. Maybe he already has a girlfriend. Oh, well. We're just friends anyway. But why do I feel so sad? 
Let's go to the kitchen. <laughs> oh my gosh, I burnt like. Thanks for being there for me, Michelle. You're the only friend I had in this town. <laughs> Jamie is going at. Oh, here we go. That's not even his voice. <laughs> Okay, start over. <clears throat> All right, and that is the different. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm starving. I really need to eat. Oh my gosh, Jared, Jared, we're still rolling. We're sh we're rolling. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I ate all the food. Can I get a new tray?